Alright, what is up dudes? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we have another SBC. Today we have the flashback Marcelo Diaz SBC cheapest solution. Now this card it's an interesting one. It's an off league of course, but yesterday we got the Copa Libertadores um, content, so that was pretty cool. We got some new players. If you guys want to check those out who came out yesterday, then go to my video from yesterday. I go through basically all the best players in the new uh, team promo, whatever you want to call it. I also have the SBC Davidson Sanchez SBC Cheapest Solution, which has over 5,000 views in under 24 hours. Which I think is the best video on my channel so far in under 24 hours, which is insane. Go show that love if you haven't already, man, as well. Three days left to complete uh, that one. And then this one is for two days. So if we can just drop 40 likes on this video, man, that would be awesome. Um, I really appreciate, man, all the support you guys have given um, every, every video, basically, the past week, man. It's been crazy. But going into the in-game stats, 5-5 five, five isn't amazing. Medium high is good. 3-star, three 3-star three isn't great either. He's a little bit on the short side, but honestly, if you play him alongside some pretty tall players, it's not going to matter that much considering N'Golo Conte is 5 at 6 and he's a god. So, great pace, great shooting outside the box, very good, pa like, amazing passing stats, uh, very, very good dribbling stats, good defending, good physical stats as well. Um, only downsides I see is the 80 dribbling um, because, of course, that's going to make him feel not as great on the ball, but he's still going to feel decent with 99 uh, balance, 86 agility. Um, how I said, good defending, good physical. Strength could be a little higher in my opinion. I would say This is a hard one to like decide what you want to boost because I feel like an a shadow or an, a, sha a, a Shadow maybe would be the best thing So you can get the stand tackle and slide tackle to the 90s um, And boost the interceptions to 95 whatever and then get that pace into the high 80s um, You can go for anchor as well. It's a, it's really up to you guys, but this SBC going into it is, I believe, uh, an 84 rated squad with two team of the week. So we're going to go into this, guys. Let's start off with Sirigu in net. We're going to go for Pepe and Tellez. We're going to go for Devry on the right. I think we might end, have to go for, uh, what's his name? Donnarumma in net, but we're going to try Sirigu first. We're going to go for Onana there. Dewey Buen at CDM with the right midfield. Going to be Stengs, inform Stengs from this week's team of the week. Uh, Promise is going to go at left wing. We're going to go for Dusan Tadic at uh, center attack midfield with Veghorst going in at right striker. Uh, inform Veghorst, that is. And then left striker is going to be Bass Dawson. So yeah, that is actually going to be fine. Um, the No position modifiers or no loyalty needed. And then minus the loyalty point on this guy is 81 chemistry. So that is going to be that SBC complete, guys. Easy as you like, just one SBC. I didn't say how much it was. So at this moment in time, this SBC is around 50,000 coins to complete. For this card, for these stats, using him as a sub, if you guys don't have the uh, the Copa players, then I think he's still going to be a decent card to use, man. This is going to be a world with the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. And I'm out.